If you are on the market for a PTZ camera or you already own a PTZ camera and you're looking for a nice controller yet affordable that you can use to control your PTZ camera, then you clicked on the right video because I'm gonna be unboxing this HCility PTZ controller which is a nice controller that is gonna allow you to actually control your ptz camera using ip or using uh ethernet connection so let's not take much time let's get right into it what's up guys my name is sam from lab production tips and tools if you're new here make sure you join the family by subscribing and let's navigate the live streaming world together this is the hcility ptz camera controller you're gonna be able to use this controller to actually control your ptz camera and the good thing about it is that it uses ip so it's gonna work over ip it has power over ethernet so you may not need to actually power it using the actual power adapter so we're gonna get into that later on but let's go ahead and actually unbox it as you can see this is the box and let's open it and when you open it the first thing as usual is gonna be the documentation and next you're gonna get the power adapter without taking much time we get to the actual controller okay so this is what it looks like it has a five inch lcd screen as you can see and this is where you're actually gonna be able to see a little preview of your ptz uh, camera that is connected to the controller by the way it does not only control one camera so you can add multiple cameras to this controller so as you can see we have so many uh, buttons here we've got the joystick itself it's really nice and smooth i actually tried it and i was able to control uh, my ptz camera without any problem and then next we got these knobs the first one is for panning and tilting and the other one is for zooming and then on this side obviously we got this many uh, white buttons or maybe i'll call it a keypad so you have so uh, many actually uh, buttons for like you know setting up some presets you have some other buttons for like zooming focusing uh, controlling the iris uh, for your camera the autofocus uh the function buttons so many buttons here that you can use to do some cool stuff and then on the top obviously we have seen the lcd screen uh, to be able to preview your camera image and obviously to be able to do some settings because if you when you're setting up uh the cameras and you adding cameras or setting up the ip addresses and stuff you're gonna use this lcd screen obviously to see what you're doing and on the back obviously uh, we've got some connections we got the rs232 connections and stuff like that which in my opinion you're not gonna need that because at the end of the day you buy this controller because you want to use the ip uh, feature on it so this is the most important port which is your ethernet connection port it can be powered uh, just simply using the ethernet connection at the same time you still have the actual normal uh, power switch so you got the power switch and you got the power port here on the back of the unit so overall guys i actually had a chance to test it out and it does really work well no problem it's easy as long as you understand the ip address thing you need to understand how ip addresses work to be able to connect the actual cameras to this device but it's not really that complicated uh you just if it's your first time it may take you a few uh maybe tutorials on youtube Hopefully, I'm going to be able to actually make one and show you how uh, you can set it up. Honestly, if you are into PTZ cameras, I feel like having an IP controller is a good thing because first of all, you're not going to need to uh, kind of plug power cables and stuff like that because it's power over Ethernet. So you're going to be able to connect your PTZ camera with just one cable uh, and the same uh, cable so obviously you're gonna need an internet switch to be able to connect everything on the same network but once you have it set up you're not gonna need to kind of be powering with actual power adapters you're not you're just gonna need one ethernet cable going to this unit another ethernet cable going to the uh, ptz camera 
that's something that I, I kind of enjoy. Again, you can still go ahead and buy some other controllers that don't use IP, but honestly speaking, I, I just, for me, I, they kind of look old fashioned and it's kind of hard to kind of get those uh, RS-232 cables, whatever it's called. Honestly, I feel like a normal ethernet cable, CAT6, CAT7, whatever you get, uh, and just bring it. It's just so simple, simpler. It's not, it doesn't cost you more money and it makes the whole process more easier. That's just my take. I'm gonna link some of the videos uh, that I did with the actual PTZ camera and some other accessories like the ethernet uh, switch. I'm gonna make sure I link those videos down below in description and at the end of this video. But other than that, if you have a question, let me know. If you need some help, feel free to reach out to me because uh, I know it may be confusing, especially if it's your first time trying to set up a PTZ camera. Also, if you want to grab it from Amazon, I'm going to put a link down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you hopefully on my next video.